For many of us who would prefer to make medical consultations always think of finding a doctor in a hospital but in a new different and very innovative style Dr. Caroline and Joseph who is a pharmacist are providing medical consultations online in what they call digital health. These medical professionals from the medical concierge group are offering free services to Ugandans. 24-7, that is 24 hours, is always a doctor on call that is ready to respond to your queries. But to do this, the doctors have to conduct a needs assessment in order to reach the patients who have not been able to access medical care. We can be able to bridge that gap and reduce on the many hours we spend waiting at the doctor at the doctors or at the hospital. Statistics from the Uganda Communications Commission show that there are 19 million phone users in the country. The medical concierge group decided to engage the phone users directly through social media, direct phone calls and text messages. We target youth and in the age bracket of 18 to about 40 years old and these people are usually technology savvy. But this point-to-point -point communication is only possible if the beneficiary has access to the internet. According to UCC, Uganda had 8 million internet users by June 2014. Of these, 4 million were using internet on the mobile phones and 100,000 used fixed internet. Which is not just about in Kampala. You realize even in Jinja, even in neighboring districts, Gulu, across the country, people actually sending their you know, health problems. So the doctors provide a 24-hour service every day of the week via social media platforms, including Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. And now this provides us with a very good avenue uh, to, to make health care very accessible. The doctors ensure that discussions with the virtual patient are professional and meet the doctor-to-patient standard of operation. We make the chat only accessible to the call agent on shift and uh, our workstations are user, they are all protected by uh, passwords. Joseph Sewana is a pharmacist. He's also a call agent here. He told us about this service. We try to give um, an introduction a remark welcoming the client yeah and also encouraging them to to be able to to uh, ask the question they want yeah and then we try to make the response as fast as possible so what then do the doctors look out for before any consultations you want to know their age you want to know um, a lot of medical history from them yeah we are interested in knowing um, um, when the condition developed how it has been um, over the time. Um, if it is, if, if it is a child, uh, we want the parent to provide um, to provide us with all the information, all the problems the child has had before, before we can uh, begin this um, uh, new interaction, so that we can get to understand their issue before providing any solutions. After the rapport has been created, the doctors also offer referrals to specialists if there is need. We have uh, a database of all the specialists and all the medical practitioners from the medical, um, from the medical council. So um, for convenience purposes, we try to make the referral most convenient to the client. We, we will refer the client to the nearest, yeah, depending on their location. This is done for all health facilities across the country. Our database uh, caters for all the health facilities in the country. We have a database that shows uh, different health facilities in the different districts of the country. Yes, so uh, depending on where this person is, we are able to make a referral. To Once you have used this service, the doctors at the call center ensure they follow up just like any other hospital or health facility is required to do to ensure that um, the interventions we made are effective, yes. And we also want to find out about the client experiences with the service we provide. They also have ways to handle referrals that have not met the expectations of the client. Uh, we usually consider uh, referring them to a specialist, yeah, so that we can really be very sure that is handled as the best 
best way. This idea has been in place for close to five years now. Nawana, however, says they face some setbacks in their operations. Our traffic increases, yes, and then um, um, that also in, in a way may present its own challenges. Sometimes that might mean a slight delay in responding to some of the inquiries. A few people may not really be able to um, express themselves very nicely or very, very clearly to us. So, yeah, sometimes you might really not be able to get the exact information you want uh, from this client. There are some people who he accuses of misusing the platform. Like someone who is uh, always on chat every day every day of the year, you really can't be so sure whether this person is the one having all those health uh, conditions each day of the year. We also asked some of the people who use social media about this innovation. Everyone is on WhatsApp, whether you're old or you're young, everyone is on WhatsApp. So I think it's the easiest and fastest and cheapest way to communicate. It's very convenient, actually. That's one thing that I really, really like about it. It's very convenient. I don't have to go to the hospital when I feel a certain way. And actually, it's also very cheap. Despite the fact that there is a phone in between you and you, you're not seeing the person, but you know that there is a doctor out there who is responding to you, you can trust that you get the right advice. In 2016, the president, Yoweri Museveni, pledged to support young ICT innovators through a science fund. 26 billion shillings was allocated for the next five years for agro, bio and chemical science innovations. It is not clear if this group of doctors will be allowed to get some of the money from the science fund. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <laughs>